Property was what's, what's, what's put us into this is the development of downtown with dumpsters of such now, and the trash is being accumulated and produced downtown with dumpsters from our standard contract that once a week pickup is not getting it and can't get it. Plus, the equipment that they have is so large to come into the downtown area and pick up is almost impossible. So, <clears throat> The only question I have is should we get a breakdown in this? Do they have any loaner or is there they have rental rental trucks available that, that will, will help us service the house was down right we can still service the accounts there. That's great. And through uh, to address that as well, through our agreement with the county, whoever wins our trash bid is obligated to give us 150 cans. Downtown does not need that many cans, so we had flexibility just to put them out and handle the trash for a certain period of time in the event that we hit a snag and we really have to. We got we have some some safety net behind us uh, in, in that area. Now, where will we go with disposing of what we have here? So the county, as part of this agreement, we will take it to Red Eagle Drive. End up in a roll off there, so we won't be going to the transfer station, we won't be going to the landfill, we'll be handling it there. And that waste management, the, the waste company who wins the contract, will we'll pick up our waste at that facility at Radio Drive that we're helping with. With no tipping, no tipping, no tipping, no tipping. It's all that's all covered in the county area, so there should be no additional cost in downtown other than just what the city contributes to labor. In labor in this trip and then so where we are right now there's uh, empty buildings we're pretty well full downtown as far as buildings and having uh, operating businesses within all our buildings downtown yes sir and what isn't full right now will be very soon right. and this also keeps it off of the street piling up that with the amount of tourism that we're having and the people in here on a daily basis we're not having to deal with the trash on the streets correct that's correct any questions anyone have any questions on this at all i do how many jobs will this create um so currently we are Handling our cardboard recycling with four to six employees, depending on the volume of that. We, we intend on using the existing employees we have to, to, to address downtown. And so we're becoming efficient, more efficient in other areas uh, of the city. So should be any additional cost from a labor standpoint, but there will be men assigned to this area moved from one place of public works over to another. That, that's any other questions? Thank you. Okay, and then item five is an appropriation amendment that is appropriation to uh, the budget uh, with funding that we give to the school. And that this is uh, an appropriation amendment there. Uh, back a few years ago, we were giving X number of dollars to the school, and when we got into the crunch that we did uh, with the economy, we had to cut everything back. We had to adjust everything to be able to continue operating and paying the bills. So it was a major cut that we did at that point in time. This is just taking it back to the level that we were, where we were before. It's not uh, anything above what we had given for years. But uh, it gives us an opportunity to go back and, and revisit this thing. I can get back to where we were. Any questions on this? Okay, and then item six is permission to purchase two commercial motors. Chapman. Yes, sir. Um, should be in your packet uh, quotes from uh, three different um, actual three different quotes on lawn motors. Um, we currently have two lawn mowers, uh, two Kubota motors. Uh, one was purchased in 2007, and the other one was purchased in 2018. 
just looking to uh, try to upgrade a little bit of my equipment. Uh, we're spending more on both of those two pieces of equipment than um, they're worth right now. Um, we've looked at cost compared. Well, I called my mechanic and cost to continue fixing those is it's cheaper to actually go purchase two of these brand new uh, Toros or whatever y'all see fit. But um, are these basically what we've been buying X parts? Is this we went uh, um, the the travel outdoors is where we got the last um, lawnmower for the, the sports complex. The, the Toro that was in here, this was in October. Uh, we got a 72 inch, I think, is what it was for the ball field. Um, Looking at trying to get something you know, comparable, either X Mart or Toro. They're both, we can get either one, and parts are pretty much the same. It's pretty much the same mold. Right. Built by the same people. But we either one of those could be, parts are easy to get for either one of those. Um, but those, they are in stock, so they're, they won't be hard to get. This is staying with the same type, same size equipment. Yes, sir. It's just replacing two molds. That's right. Trying to get any any value in those two molds we're replacing. Uh, they're still running right now. So we can use them as backup. That was the kind of plan. plan. Yes, sir. Try to put them in some of the rougher areas um, as opposed to putting them. As well, if you just go over there and look and see that we're going to be maintaining. It seems like every project that you have when you're developing another area that has to be maintained. So this is the case here. Um, I watched all that sod and the laying down of that in the last two weeks and I thought, you know, we're going to have to cut that too. A lot of grass. Right now it's real pretty. We're going to have to keep it. So um, a lot of grass. I was over there late this afternoon and, and the guys that do the maintenance over there are unbelievable. They do a fantastic job. And uh, even in the wintertime, with all, I think it's for looking so bad, but they're still doing a good job of maintaining that area. So, uh, anyone have any questions about these two molders? <clears throat> this is a first time on the agenda. So, it will appear again next week, in two weeks. Okay. Then item seven is permission for Fresh Air family to host a science camp in Gold Star Park. That's June 13th through 17th. Anyone here on that? Yes, uh, I'm with Fresh Air Family. I'm Bernie Gates. Excuse me, I've had foot surgery, but I'm the founder and executive director of Fresh Air Family. We're a 501c3 nonprofit. And we created this camp, but please don't laugh at me, but it's called Gross Out Camp. And uh, it's our manual right here. And we've been waiting for a long time to spread it to Wetumpka because you have such a beautiful park. And it's basically a cancer of field biology. It's an award winning science camp. And we're a nonprofit. We have any, our camps have anywhere from 30% to some even 100% uh, kids who come on financial aid. We support them to come because we've never turned a child down for money to come to camp. And we just want to, we want to increase the educational value of the, of the children of Alabama is our main goal. And we found a beautiful, wonderful park and a great place to have a science camp. We, we get the kids out, we get them, we guarantee tired, dirty children, so parents really like us. Um, <laughs> we cater to working people. We go from 9 to 5 or 8 to 6, depending on how much you need to get to work on time. And we want children to get out in nature, and we get them wet and muddy and take them in the woods. There's lovely trails we have over there, maybe in the creek sometime. And we want them to uh, learn about their, their environment around, you know, about really tissue biology. We find worms and snails and uh, all kinds of things that they uh, don't necessarily get to do. And we get them tired and dirty every day, uh, keep them running out, exercise, and we do very well with autistic kids because, you know, we get them a lot of exercise and fresh air and science is black and white. What kind of staffing do you have? Uh, we will have, we've already identified somebody here locally, the popular science teacher. We have, we, uh, we have, we have small camps, only 20 to 25 children, because we don't want to be, that's the perfect classroom size. And we'll have a, we have a camp director, then we'll have two camp counselors, either or, or college or high school, and then we'll usually have two young volunteers who are, you know, like middle school and up. So we, we like to have a lot of people around, so 
you know, we've never had an accident. We've been doing this for 12 years. Last year we had 4,000 children. We didn't have one single COVID infection or anything. We we are outdoors is the way to go with that. We're not doing it overnight. Oh Lord, no. <laughs> 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 have some hours that you're doing this. We're gonna send them at eight to six would be the maximum, and that's only so we can accommodate somebody who needs to get to work. Eight to six, so five days you will be down. Five in the days park. at the park, yes, sir, all day long. And you know that there's a roaring river down there. So. We do know that we're not gonna let him get anywhere near that river. The best we'll do is get him. There's a couple of creeks that go down there. We'd love to get him a couple of those. And, scattered it out to get down there and, and let them find the crawdads or and we teach them how to fish we do fishing pup pen stop they always say where the where the uh falls and say well it looks like there's one over there and whenever the <laughs> sticks i think um, we would probably prefer if they didn't get to the water i'm talking about the creek we don't have a creek, creek. creek. Yeah. we a have backups that come off of the uh, little couple of little backups have a few little fish in and then that's on but no we're there's only one the creek and it's all down here What's it called, Tex? You've been here longer than I have. Brookside Creek that runs in. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's little creeks that I saw, just narrow things. But they've got, they're pretty lively when I went down here. They put their love. Chad's had a lot of experience in that creek. <laughs> oh, would you take me down? Let's go look and see. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go down and see. Okay, guys, any questions? Did you say you are in contact with the schools? We are in contact with one of the school teachers here that we would like to hire locally you know, to teach. Uh, from what I understand, from the, my person we've been talking to is a popular high school science teacher that somebody from we would be, high yeah, oh yeah, would be a great uh, teacher to teach down here. We like to hire locally in public college kids that live around the area. And where are you all from? I'm from Birmingham. We've had camps in Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Montgomery, Huntsville. Uh, Fell City, and other places. Yeah, we, uh, North Carolina wanted New York for different reasons, but I was on the Erie Canal. We managed that one. It was good. <laughs> we didn't get anybody, anybody get in. <laughs> okay. now, where are these children coming from? Your, your kids. Our kids. For some kids. Yes, we want to recruit locally for your children to come. How are you advertising for it? <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be advertising for the newspaper and we'll be uh, contacting school systems. And Tuscaloosa, we did in Birmingham. We, Send our flowers to the school system to recruit the kids to come locally. Just to win murals. A part of the murals. We need to be entering first through fourth grade uh, as our eighth grade. We like that eighth grade. They're still open, and when you get to that fifth grade, go, that's nasty. You know, they do that. <laughs> so we want to encourage these children to learn science, uh, learn math. We do a lot of math and science in the camp. Uh, I've got a, you're welcome to look through our manual if you'd like. We've got 52 lesson plans of science back on them to teach kids how to, we want to get them interested in science and math at this early age because they're still interested in the world around them. Is it a sack lunch? How do you, how are they? Made? We make them bring a sack lunch. See, many kids have allergies and other things. And, and if kids get something, you buy something, they don't like it, they don't eat. you got a bunch of grumpy kids in the afternoon. <laughs> so so we, they bring their own lunch. bring their own lunch from home. We never had a problem with that. Or this. We want something they want to eat and they're not allergic to. That's today. Well. She's asking so many questions. I'm from the school system. She's from the school system, so she's involved. <laughs> and can we have a chat? I'd love to talk to you more about it. And I can show you our little manual here. You always have to limp up there. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Suppose we have 100 that are interested. We have, if you can have that many, we'll have more camps. Okay, because I, I would expect them to be a great. I don't know, I hope so. We're, you, we usually start, we go to a new place, we just start with one or two camps. But if we, uh, like last week we started in Vestavia, in Bur near Birmingham, we, one camp filled up, we meet up with four camps for the end of the summer, and probably could fill a couple more. If we can fill more and you've got teachers willing to teach, we'll, we'll, we'll hang in with you. We'd love to. Uh, We'd love to have it. We'd love to have a great camp and have one every weekend of the summer and spring break if we could. We would really love to get more information on this, uh, and mm -hmm. where, and, and rather than us taking action on this tonight to grant this permission, if you would, you got until June, if you would just let us maybe review this before the next meeting okay. and and see exactly. She deals with this every week. 
It was time to recruit kids. So. <laughs> but, uh, and then we would like to make sure that the uh, fire department and police department, and because of the safety side of it, and, uh, a lot we of people, have a perfect safety. A lot of people come through that place. park. Yeah. A lot of people are walkers and joggers, and, they, and sometimes you get some not so desirable it's not really what you want but we want to make sure everything's safe well that's why we have generally four to five kids first you know as a person looking after them yeah. we are um, i never thought it'd be the safety uh, major rep that i am but we have had nothing happen in, in thousands we had four thousand kids last summer and i went have not one accident i think we had one stitch in the whole summer that was why the kids stepped on a rock and, and probably not step on but well, it sounds like a good plan yeah. if you would just give us an opportunity. Y'all want to bring up to let us look at this? I know we got some mighty mean ducks. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, we did. Some mighty mean ducks. Just don't feed the duck, don't you? Oh, the duck. Oh, no. The ducks are geese. The geese are really mean. Yeah, we got those too. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. All right, thank you. Okay, this time we'll enter at our council meeting and. Uh, Yes, yes we, Mr. Greer would like to have something added to the agenda, and I'm sorry I forgot. Okay, uh, in view of the fact that we kind of got backwards on a grant, it, uh, Lynn worked on a grant at the Black History Museum, and we, uh, we've already got the check that the grant has given us, yeah. but we hadn't got our part of it done because they sent it to us ahead, usually they wait for the last. So we need to ask permission from mayor and council to bid the paintwork, window repair, uh, soffit, fascia, all the repair at the Black History Museum. Uh, and uh, you want to go into any of the other details till we get uh, concerning what kind of like what we're talking about today? Yes. Okay. The grant that we got was $21,000, right. and we think that this total on this is going to be 60, 68 to 70000 right? 68 to 70000 So the question is then, well, how do you, how do you pay that match? Uh, we have a system here that we put in place a few years ago uh, when we increased the business license in the city. Uh, the first attempt to increase the business license, I made a raw little mess out of it. And I went to the merchants then and asked them would they correct the mess that I made. We needed X number of dollars coming in annually that we were not getting. So they agreed that we don't mind paying extra money, we just don't want to pay it all at one time. So they agreed to get a 33% increase. 33% increase and 33% increase that would get us to the number that we need. So um, we promised in, in that that that's mighty kind of you. That gets us where we need to be. We just don't get there as quick as we thought we would. But if you do this with us, we will not let that money go into the day-to-day -day operation of the business of the city. We would sequester this money to the side and use it for economic development projects and matching of grants. So this is an opportunity for us to be able to pull the money out of this account and pay the match that goes with this particular grant. So that way it makes it a whole lot easier. Yeah. When we go get grants and they say, well, we'll give you $500,000 for it's a 50-50, you got to put up 250000 Well, then we look at one another, where's it going to come from? Now we have a system, we know where it comes from. So this is what we were talking about doing. So it's not taking any more money out of the day-to-day -day operation and budget. It takes it out of this account. So it's a, it's a good thing for us to do that. So the building is in need of repair, needs repair, and, and uh, we want to get it fixed once and for all to where the Black History Museum is very important to us here in this community. There's so much history here, and we want to preserve that. So we want to fix this building, and this is our way of fixing the building. 
that pretty well cut? Yes. Thank you. Okay. So that's where we are, and we will ask uh, when we get into the council meeting, we'll ask to add that as an agenda item this evening. Okay. All right. We'll call the meeting to order. The invocation will be given by Mrs. Tucker, and the pledge will be given by Council Person of Justice. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you for allowing us to come um, to our city council meeting this evening. We thank you for um, all the um, agenda items and that we will come to um, a conclusion on everything, everyone to be on the same accord. These are all blessings we ask in your son, Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call. Councilmember Robbins? Here. Councilmember Tucker? Here. Councilmember Justice? Here. Councilmember Gann? Here. Councilmember Brown? Here. Mayor Willis? Here. We received any back of the copy of the minutes from the council meeting held on January the 18th of 2022. Are there any corrections to those minutes? If not, do we have a motion for approval? I move we approve. I got three on. I'm going to take Mr. Brown all the way down on the end. I take a second. Second. Okay. So we have a motion. We have a second. All in favor, let me know. Say aye. Aye. Anyone that disapproves. All right, minutes have been approved. An old business approved repair of lights at Hornberg Stadium at a cost of $9,248. This is the second time on the agenda. We can take action on this. We're going to take a motion. So moved. Thank second. you. Second. I got the second over here. A motion and a second. Any further discussion on this? All in favor, let it be known to say aye. Aye. You don't want to vote. So that too has been approved. From item two, permission to purchase two vehicles at a cost of $76,699.87. This too being on the agenda for the second time, we can take action. So moved. Okay, I'll take that motion. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you. I'll take that second. All in favor, let me know and say aye. Aye. You don't want to Okay, so that permission has been granted on that purchase. But the new business this evening, ordinance 2022, ordinance annexing 35.81 acres of real property in section 22. T-18-N, R-18-E, into the corporate city limits of the city of Wetumpka. This is the first read, but would you read the ordinance? Yes. An ordinance annexing 35.81 acres of real property in section 22, Township 18 North, Range 18 East, into the corporate limits of the city of Wetumpka, Alabama. Whereas on the fourth day of February 2022, Russell Timberlands dash Wetumpka LLC. An Alabama limited liability company, being the owner of all the real property here and after prescribed, did file with the circuit city clerk of the city of Wetumpka, Alabama, a petition requesting that said tract of land be annexed to and become a part of the city of Wetumpka, Alabama. And whereas said petition did contain the signatures of all the owners of the described lands and provided the map of the property showing its relationship to the corporate limits of the city of Wetumpka, Alabama, and whereas the governing body be determined that it is in the best in the public interest of the said property be annexed to the city of Wetumpka, Alabama, and it did further determine that all legal requirements for annexing said real property have been met pursuant to sections 1142-20 through 1142-24 Code of Alabama 1975. Now be it ordained by the city council of the city of Wetumpka, Alabama as follows. Section one, the council of the city of Wetumpka, Alabama finds and declares as a legislative body of the city of Wetumpka that it is in the best interest of the citizens of the city of Wetumpka and the citizens of the affected area to bring the territory described in section two of this ordinance into the city of Wetumpka's corporate limits. Section two, that the boundary lines of the city of Wetumpka, Alabama be, and the same are hereby altered and or rearranged, 
so as to include all the territory heretofore encompassed by the corporate limits of the city of Potomac, Alabama, and in addition thereto, the following described territory to it. Commencing an iron pen at the southeast corner of section 14, Township 18, North Range 18 East, Elmore County, Alabama, then south 87.15.15 west, 5,982.04 feet to a point in the south right away, south right away line of Alabama Highway 14. Right away width varies, said point being the point of beginning. Thence from said point of beginning, leaving said right away line south 02-38-33 east, 233.63 feet. Then south 48-20-54 west, 128.15 feet. Then south 56-27-50 west, 915.71 feet. Then north 81-33-16 west, 377.62 feet. Then south 86-44-23 west, 748.71 feet to a point located on the center line of a creek. It's meandering along said center line of the creek the following 19 courses. 1. North 09-23-03 west, 27.62 feet. 2. North 36-17-46 west, 61.18 feet. 3. North 80-29-39 west, 40.62 feet. 4. North 82-40-32 west, 29.81 feet. 5. 32, north 32-57-38 west, 48.17 feet. 6. North 34-34-00 west, 78.69 feet. 7, south 57-43-40 west, 51.35 feet. 8, south 55-43-28 west, 14.21 feet. 9, north 64-59-38 west, 104.11 feet. 10, north 06-57-28 west, 36.43 feet. 11, north 60-21-40 west, 108.46 feet. 12, north 35-58. 10 east 23.76 feet 13 north 59 1607 east 36.00 feet 14 north 56 25 east 31.15 feet 15 north 10 18 39 east 37.65 feet 16 north 00 56 west 121.13 feet 17 north 040905 west 94.94 feet 18 north 04 54, 51 west, 186.01 feet. 19 north, 00, 26, 17 east, 15.78 to an iron feet to an iron pin located on the south right away line of said road. It's along said right away line the following six courses. One, cord bearing south, 824704 east, cord distance 45.67 feet, radius 6,717.28 feet. Two, north, 553709 east, 47.04 feet. Three, cord bearing south, 875820 east, Core distance 1,081.23 feet, radius 6,671.48 feet, 4, north 8720.33 east, 1,011.16 feet, uh, south 47.42.23 east, 35.61 feet, north 8721.27 east, 142.90 feet to the point of beginning. Said parcel, parcel of land is lying and being situated in the north half of section 22, township 18 north. Range 18 East, Elmore County, Alabama, and contains 35.81 acres more or less. Section 3, this ordinance shall be published as provided by law, and a certified copy of same together with a certified copy of the petition of the property owner shall be filed with the probate judge of Elmore County, Alabama. Section 4, the territory described in this ordinance shall become a part of the corporate limits of Wisconsin, Alabama upon publication of this ordinance as set forth in Section 3 above. Good job. I need to get those. <laughs> Everybody knows where it is now, right? This is for a new housing development and uh, we adhere to the to the city of the town. So that's one thing we're showing on is rooftops and as we work uh, to try to get more rooftops here in the city. So thank you, Jessica. Okay, then item four, permission to purchase a Pack Mac 11 yard real load on a freight liner, an M2 106. This is the first time on the agenda. Uh, are you guys okay with it appearing again, or do you need to move on this map? We need to move on that. We need to move on this map. We we can. Okay, this is the uh, first time on the agenda, so we'll be asking to suspend the rules. I'm not suspend the rules. Okay, we have a motion. Do we have a second to suspend the rule? Second. Okay, roll call. Councilmember Robbins? Yes. Councilmember Tucker? Yes. Councilmember Justice? Yes. 
Councilmember Gant? Yes. Councilmember Brown? Yes. Mayor Willis? Yes. Rules haven't been suspended. We will entertain a motion now to take this matter up. Motion. Do we have a motion? Do we have a second? Second. Okay. Any further discussion? All in favor, let it be known to say an aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Okay, that permission has been granted, guys, to move ahead uh, with that. Okay, and then out of five is the appropriations amendment. Do we have a motion to move forward? So moved. Thank you. Do we have a second? Second. Okay. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, let it be known to say an aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? So that too has been approved, and we can move forward on that. And the next item is permission to purchase two commercial boards. This is the first read on it. We can carry it over. So we'll carry that over to the next council meeting. And then item seven, we're going to carry over until uh, we can look at this fresh air family to host a science camp and go start park where you can do your homework and come home and read all of this. <laughs> but um, we will follow up on that at our next council meeting. Yeah. Two weeks. Two weeks. Second Tuesday at noon. Actually, it'd be Tuesday at noon. I think it's some kind of holiday. That President's, President's, President's Day. Day. That's what it is. And, uh, well, it's it's great. 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 Anything else? Motion to adjourn? Uh, oh, 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 we've got to add something. Right. <laughs> 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 Out of eight on the agenda. <laughs> yeah, on the agenda, um, you want to request it? Uh, yes, we keep it short. <laughs> Go ahead. Motion to add an agenda item for the Black History Museum. Thank you for that. Second. Now, motion we have a second to add an item. Motion and second. Council Member Robbins? Yes. Council Member Tucker? Yes. Council Member Justice? Yes. Council Member Brown? Yes. Council Member Brown? Yes. Mayor Willis? Yes. Okay. Uh, I have added the uh, item to the agenda concerning the Black History Museum and the uh, matching of the funds for this project. Uh, do we have a motion to move forward? So moved. I'm going to take that over here from Mr. Tucker. I have a second. Second. Okay, Mr. Brown. I have a motion and a second to move forward with this project. All in favor, let me know say an aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Okay, so that's been granted. That's good. Thank you for the time. Uh, share one thing with you that uh, it, it's, it's not ours. The historical society only just lost Kevin over here that has fallen in over the years. Um, the lack of who's where we're supposed to keep it up. But we gave in the uh, gentleman that's in here that's in the log home building with that style of log homes and he's taking it down. He is securing the good logs that are in there that's left that go over and be used in repairs done on the other log house that we have over here behind the vehicle. So that work has been going on the last few days. We're going to leave the chimney in place. A beautiful rock chimney. So uh, I'm sure there'll be a fence to where it may even take care of the flag burning ceremony that, uh, that uh, the Boy Scouts do here. It'll, it'll be a good place for that. But, uh, unique old, old cabin over there. Okay. Motion to adjourn? So All right. We'll stand adjourned. If they, if they, if they need my own